Section 7.6, apply the sine and cosine ratios. The sine and cosine ratios are trigonome trigonometric ratios for acute angles, just like the tangent ratio was for acute angles, um, that involve the length of a leg and the hypotenuse of a right triangle. So tangent, you knew two legs. Okay, remember, we knew this was a right triangle. You would do, that's an awesome right angle, isn't it? You would do um, tangent of this angle would be opposite over adjacent toa. Okay, um, sine and cosine, they involve the lengths of a leg and a hypotenuse. So for sine, um, sine A is, here we have A, sine of A is um, opposite, lost my pen, sine of A is opposite over hypotenuse, opposite over hypotenuse. Cosine of A, let me erase this, is cosine of A is adjacent over hypotenuse. So um, I said sine was opposite over hypotenuse, cosine was adjacent over hypotenuse, and tangent is opposite over adjacent. So ka toa. Remember it. <laughs> Example one, find sine of S and sine R. Write each answer as a fraction and as a decimal rounded to four places. So I have sine of S. Remember, sine is opposite over hypotenuse, so S, opposite over hypotenuse, we get 63 over 65. I can't simplify that any, so I type it out in my calculator, I get 0.9692. Sine of R, let me erase this. Okay, sine of R, we do opposite over hypotenuse, which is 16 over 65. Notice 65 is in the bottom both times because it's your hypotenuse. Okay, I can't simplify that any, but I can do the decimal for decimal places. Okay, guided practice. This would be the U try. Find sine x and sine y. Write each answer as a fraction and as a decimal. Round to four decimal places if necessary. Okay, I'm going to push pause. You go ahead and work them on your own. Okay, there we have our two answers. Um, if you look, I did opposite over hypotenuse for y, opposite over hypotenuse for x. Gave a fraction and a decimal. Okay, the other one, um, opposite over hypotenuse for x opposite over hypotenuse for y. I didn't need to bring out all the zeros because it was a small number. Sorry, I had to sneeze. Um, but those are pretty simple problems. Um, find cosine ratios. Okay, find cosine u and cosine w. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. So if we do cosine u, I do adjacent over hypotenuse. 18 over 30. I can simplify. I can simplify again. 3 goes into 9 3 times. 3 goes into 15 5 times. And a decimal would be 0 0.6. Cosine W. Um, I get adjacent over hypotenuse, which is 24 over 30. Simplify, let's see, um, 6 goes into 24 4 times, 6 goes into 30 5 times, I get 0 0.8. Cool. Example 3, first of all, um, yes, I'm sitting in my classroom doing this video and they are working on the roof. So you will hear that in the background, I apologize, but you should feel just at home because it's what they do during the day. <laughs> Um, all right, example three. You want to string cable to make a dog run from two corners of a building. Um, write and solve a proportion for using a trigonometric ratio to approximate the length of the cable you will need. 
Okay, so for some reason, we have measured one of the angles here, and we know the distance of one of the sides. We need to know x. x is your hypotenuse, and this is opposite. The opposite trigonometric ratio is um, so. So we're going to do sine of 35 equals opposite over hypotenuse. Solve for x. x equals 11 over the sine of 35. Get your calculator out. 11 divided by sine of 35 is 19.2 feet. So basically I would plan on a little more than 19 feet of cable. Okay, guided practice, so the U tries. In exercises 3 and 4, um, find cosine r and cosine x. Write each answer as a decimal, round to four decimal places if necessary. And um, in number 5, in exercise 3, or sorry, in example 3, use the cosine ratio to find the length of the other leg of the triangle form. Um, this would be in the example, the dog run example. So hold up on that one. I will draw the picture here in a minute. Okay, here's the answer to number three and four. Um, and I drew in what we know for from example three, um, 11 feet, 19.2 feet, and that angle was 35. So we're trying to find the other, um, the length of the other leg of the triangle formed. So I'm going to push pause again and finish number five. Okay, we have about 15.7 feet on that one. Okay, um, just a point of distinction here. I need to talk about angle of depression and angle of elevation. It's nothing about being happy or sad. It's about where you are when you're looking at an object. So, um, angles. If you look up at an object, the angle your line of sight makes with a horizontal line is called the angle of elevation. So pretend you have a cliff um, and you're standing at the base of the cliff and you look up at your friend. So here's the horizontal line and you're looking up at your friend. This right here is called the angle of elevation because you had to elevate your eyes to see your friend. If you're standing on the cliff, here's your horizontal line of sight, but you have to look down to see your friend. Okay, it's an angle of depression. I don't know if you're sad because your friend has to climb up the cliff or um, it's just, you know, you're depressing, you're pressing down your eyes to see the bottom. So we have an angle of depression and an angle of elevation. Example four, you are skiing on a mountain with an altitude of 120 or 1,200 meters. The angle of depression is 21 degrees, so the elevation of the mountain, you're up here, the elevation is 1,200 feet. The angle of depression, so your horizontal line of sight looking down, is 21 degrees. About how far do you ski down the mountain? So what is x? Okay, we have learned, so, ka, toa. Here I have an angle, and I know an opposite and a hypotenuse. So I'm going to use so. So sine of 21 equals opposite over hypotenuse. Solve for x. x equals 1,200 divided by sine of 21. I'll type that out real quick. 1,200 divided by sine 21. x equals 3,349 feet. Seems to be a nice trip down the mountain. A lot of fun. Yep. I don't even know if I can erase it. Nope, I can't. So this is a meter. <laughs> Okay, guided practice. So, what if the angle of depression in example 4 is 28 degrees? So that's the skier. 
okay, at the top of a mountain. That is 1,200 feet elevation. Now the angle of depression is 28 degrees. Is that steeper or less steep? It's steeper. So about how far would you ski? So we're going to do sine of 28 equals 1,200 over x. Solve for x. Divide by sine of 28. Oops. One thousand two hundred divide by sine twenty eight. Yep, it would be shorter. About two thousand five hundred and fifty six. Ooh, that's meters. My bad. Not sure what I put on the last slide. Let's look. All right, moving on. Example five. Find the lengths, the leg lengths using an angle of elevation. You want to build a skateboard ramp with a length of 14 feet, right there, and an angle of elevation of 26 degrees. You need to find the height and length of the base of the ramp. So we're looking for X and Y. So, ka, toa, So what we've learned. So I have 26, I have the hypotenuse. So first I'm gonna do opposite over hypotenuse. Sine of 26 equals x over 14. 14 times sine 26. x equals 6.1 feet. Now let's do cosine of 26 equals y over 14. 14 times Cosine 26. Y equals 12.6 feet. Awesome. All right. Use a special right triangle to find the sine and cosine of the 60 degree angle. Um, this isn't a big deal. This is where we learned our basic skeleton of the 36 and 90. I've actually drawn it there. Sorry. Let's erase what I just did. Um, if you remember, the long base is x squared root of 3. The hypotenuse is always 2x. And the short leg is just plain old x. So let's just double check. If I do... Sine of 30, so is opposite over hypotenuse, I would get 1 over the square root of 3. So I'm just going to type in what sine 30 is real quick. Sine 30, I get 0.5. 1 divide by the square root of 3. Oh, for goodness sakes. Hold on. Opposite over hypotenuse is what? So, ka, toa, 1 over 2. Because I type in my calculator, sine of 30, I get 0.5. 1 divided by 2 is also 0.5. Yay. Okay, let's try sine of 60. 60, opposite over hypotenuse. Square root of 3 over 2. Sine 60 equals 0 0.8660 square root of 3 divide by 2 is also 0 0.8660. Cool. And we could do the same thing with cosine. Cosine of 30 is adjacent over hypotenuse. Square root of 3 over 2. Cosine of 60. Cosine adjacent over hypotenuse. Cosine of 60 would be 1 over 2. Let's check our calculators. Cosine 30. 
point eight. So if you look, um, we just are reaffirming the fact of our 30, 60, 90 triangles. Um, we don't have to memorize that, that skeleton anymore. We can use sine and cosine to solve them pretty simply. Um, because the cosine, if you look, the cosine of 30 is opposite over hypotenuse. Cosine of 30 is 0 0.5. Opposite over hypotenuse is also 0 0.5. And it goes on. Guided practice. What if, in example 5, suppose the angle of elevation is 35 degrees? Okay, example 5 was our um, skate ramp. And let me remember, what was the length? 14 feet. Um, the angle of elevation, 35 degrees. I think you'd have more fun or go slower. Um, what is the new height and base? So x and y. We can do sine of 35. Actually, I'm pushing pause. Sorry. Um, push pause and um, try it on your own. There we go. You have the base and the height. All right, number eight. Use a special triangle to find the sine and cosine of a 30 degree angle. Okay, done. See the previous slide. We already did that. See previous slide. Okay, I did 30 and 60 degree triangle with the last slide. Sorry. Daily homework quiz. Okay, pretty simple. Um, four slides. Numbers one and three are using the same diagram. Number two. Number three. One more. Two points. Number four. Okay. Good job.